All right, you're watching the marketplace. There's been plenty of talk about unemployment lately, and while well, female headquarters in the country are seeking access to higher education to fight the sexual, economic, and verbal abuse they endure in society, some intend to quit parade in the central business districts of Kumasi and Accra as they desire to be empowered to contribute to the development of their communities. Love Affairs Mona Lisa Frimpong engages some teenage mothers who desire to be enrolled in vocational institutions in the regions of the north to escape poverty. Life is hard for 24-year-old head porter Salah Abudu. At age 15, she dropped out of school in the rural area of northern Ghana due to financial difficulties. In her frustration, she intended to get married to save her predicament, but failed. Yeah, so I said I was almost a victim of child marriage because I felt life wasn't treating me right. I felt I was stressing myself, I was going through a lot, and I thought uh, marriage could save me from the things I was going through. Salah migrated to Accra to improve her life. Here, she finds herself sleeping on the streets of Tudu as a head porter battling diseases. Even me dating a savior than me, but I'll carry it. I've battled malaria and cholera on a regular basis because where I was sleeping, it was an open space, so mosquitoes and all that. And then cholera because it was an open space and it was in front of Gata. Salah Abudu and other groups of adolescent girls and young women aged 12 to 35 years carry goods on their heads in large aluminium pans. They migrate predominantly from the northern and upper west regions to southern Ghana in attempt to escape poverty and other harmful practices such as child and forced marriages and female genital mutilation by working in this informal sector. In crowded and congested areas with limited vehicle access, headporters make important contributions to the economic development of markets. They play an important role in transporting goods such as yam, plantain, vegetables, fish and clothing. The headporters are facing much of the worst that urban life can offer. Many are becoming teenage mothers as they continue to be victims of sexual exploitation. Biola Buajo is traumatized. She is sexually harassed and threatened whilst executing her job of assisting male customers with goods to their homes. Elizabeth Pokuya, a teenage mother at Asokore Mampong in Ashanti, dropped out of junior high school to cater for her son. On a good day, she earns 50 CDs carrying loads. However, local people use 21-year-old Elizabeth for cheap labor while stigmatizing her. <laughs> Biula Buajo, another teenage mother, carries goods which outweigh her strength, but she is determined to carry the goods to earn some coins. She fights locals who try cheating her during payment.
The Office of the National Population Council finds teenage pregnancy among headquarters worrying. They are major contributors to overpopulation in the country. In a 2018-2019 mapping exercise by the Ministry of Gender, Children and Social Protection, it was indicated that there are more than 100,000 headquarters nationwide. This includes their children, with 85,600 working in the Greater Accra area, 22,000 500 in the Ashanti region and about 1,000 in the Bronga Hafo region. These numbers were approximated and it is likely that they are more in number. The National Population Council plans to manage this overpopulation through sexual reproductive health education. Mercy Aduma Besia is regional head. Say so we want to end the less adolescent pregnancy, child marriages and all that, we need to tackle or have special interest in the KIA. So how do we help them curtail maybe unwanted pregnancies, unsafe abortions and all that? So that is where the national population comes in to control the, the growth or the population growth. Salah Abudu is a final year student at the University of Ghana, Ligon. Her dream materialized with support from the United Nations Fund for Population Activities, UNEFPA. The human rights group aims to deliver a world where every pregnancy is wanted, every childbirth is safe and ensure young persons like Salah, Bula and Elizabeth's potential are fulfilled. The government purchased the university form and I was admitted in the University of Ghana School of Nursing and Medical. So I'm currently like 400 public health students. Non-governmental organization Purim African Youth Development Platform Ghana is creating educational and business opportunities for marginalized headquarters and addressing challenges they face. Reverend Aku Honam Kevi is executive director. But it will alarm you that even though legally child marriage is illegal in Ghana, it is still happening in some of the communities in the north. So the education is to ensure that this is stopped and then also give the girls some skills Give them something to do. A lot of these girls, when you listen to their stories, have gone back to school. For Joy Business, Mona Lisa Frimpon reporting.